You know in the theater, there are two masks. One mask smiles and the other mask is crying. That, to me, is what was built into his music. There was always that thread of melancholy, a sadness, which lay beneath the surface of the carnival. And uh, if you had ears to hear, you would hear it, for example, in the variations which he made on the minor mode. Well, I mean, that's kind of obvious, you know, minor equals sad. But it was more than that. Uh, because it was also, it was, it was always there, if you were prepared to listen hard enough for it. And in that way, his music spoke to the human condition in an extremely profound way. I do not think that any of our poets have ever captured it. I am almost sure that none of our painters have captured it. Words and images, because of their specificity, uh, may not quite be able to do that. And maybe it is the particular uh, quality of music to be able to transcend those things that words don't capture, that images don't capture, that in sound, in harmony, in tempi, for instance, because you always took things a little slower than everybody, make sure you could hear. But I don't think it's because he wanted you to hear. I think it's because he knew how fast it should go. And um, <coughs> that business of, of Bradley's humanity speaks to both joy and sorrow simultaneously. He had in his own life, I believe, much reason for grief for he was a very very bright very cerebral kind of person who somehow didn't quite get it out where it should have been and then working on Desperado's Hill certainly you get to see the harsh underbelly of 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 poverty of neglect of loss of belief in capacity which on the hill doesn't manifest itself very much except through the music and during the 10 years that i was there i had cause to reflect upon that all the time Bradley understood it he didn't just understand it he got it into the very marrow of his bones and into the smallest brain cells and it came out in the music in that measured tempo in that ability to make a chord that would be maybe a chord in the seventh or the ninth or with a suspension somewhere or in a different mode but which told you that life is hard but that it is and that that is where we are and that that is our condition and it is entirely possible that his fate is to have a grave that is not marked at least not yet this generation is too close it's too young it's too under evolved and it is too close to a bitter history to want to, un to understand the necessity for commemorating what has been there in japan you have an old 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 uninterrupted civilization that knows itself 
knows what is important, knows its values, has its ceremonies, has its culture. Our culture is complex, recent, under-evolved, and utterly, utterly challenging. I think that Bradley's music got it. He got all of it. And I believe that with the passage of time and circumstance, he will not be forgotten. And the generations to come, listening to the recordings, will understand that here, at this time, in this disordered time, we were a people with a character and a purpose of our own. And that's all I can tell you.